Hey guys, welcome back. This is a short reaction video to Dark Dark 985's video why Nintendo gets a pass from me. So guys, I love his content. This is a genuine guy. I love his discussion videos about PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and Nintendo. But I have a small disagreement with him in this regard. So let's listen for it uh, for a few seconds. Nintendo gets away with stuff, or we tend to ignore things that Nintendo does, especially the older gamers like us, because they have built a, 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 a legacy and have built that nostalgic, felt, that nostalgic factor and that trust with us that when we see what they're doing and we don't like how they're moving, we might not support it as far as actually, you know, buying the system or playing all the games or everything but we just won't talk bad about it these other companies to us that grew up on nintendo still we still feel okay talking trash about them because they still haven't hit that for us but there's younger generations that you can't say anything anything to them about sony or microsoft doing anything wrong because they've built that type of trust with them right well that's what nintendo is to me at least it's like this it's like this okay Okay, so uh, Dark Dark 985 is giving a few examples, a few more examples, and also, uh, granted, he's saying at the end that he's not buying Nintendo consoles or no new Nintendo consoles because he's not supporting these kind of practices from Nintendo. Guys, in general, I agree with him, but I have a slight disagreement with him in this regard. Um, I think we should let Nintendo know that we don't agree with what they are doing. We shouldn't get Nintendo a pass. Nintendo shouldn't get a pass for what they are doing in regards to old franchises. For example, F-Zero. That game should have been released on a few consoles a few generations ago. At least released it on Nintendo Switch. And of course, their online services is lacking. Their lagging behind Sony and Microsoft, especially Microsoft, which is way ahead. And of course, you all experience the content ID on YouTube from a few years ago. We should be vocal about these things. If you're vocal, Nintendo is forced to change and improve. So that's my slight disagreement with Dark Dark 985. In general, I agree with him. and. Uh, Granted, in the end, he's saying that he's showing Nintendo that he's not satisfied with the stuff that's going on by not buying new consoles from Nintendo. But uh, I agree with him in this regard. Whenever Nintendo steps up the game, improves, makes new hardware, maybe a home console with great specs, better specs, uh, guys. Not all of us like these hybrid systems Nintendo is making, or this hybrid system. So I think Nintendo has to listen to fans and improve online, improve their hardware and bring more exclusives or more iconic IPs to Nintendo Switch and future consoles. So for example, Metroid Prime 4, that game should have been out already. F-Zero should have been out already. And uh, Nintendo is getting a pass, but I think we should not let Nintendo get away with these things. So that's my slight disagreement with Dark Dark 985. In general, I like his content. Uh, great channel. Go ahead and go and watch his channel. I will link it in the description below. So guys, I want to know what you think about this. What is your opinion about Nintendo getting a pass? Thanks for the support, and I'll see you in the next video.